Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy Blogtober Day 20. Today the 20th, right? It is. It is. So we have a special guest today, Jay Boogie in the house. We are going to make a nice fall themed drink. I'm eating dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to make some caramel apple sangria. Doesn't that sound tasty? So for this recipe, you're going to need some cut up Granny Smith apples. You're going to need a bottle of white wine. We are using this Gallo Family Sweet Apple Wine because, you know, go along with the apple theme. And then we're going to be using some caramel Smirnoff Vodka. And then we're going to use a little bit of apple vodka as well. You can also use like apple pucker, something like that, but my liquor store didn't have any, so I'm improvising with the apple vodka. All right, mm -hmm. let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is just put the apples into our handy dandy pitcher. And um, I just cut them up. I just used some already pre-cut apples. I washed them and we're just going to toss them in there. And then we're going to use a bottle of wine. We're gonna pour the whole thing, whole thing in there? Yeah, what size is it? It said this whole, what is it, seven milliliters? I don't know, whatever. We're using the whole bottle. Ugh. Yes. So we're gonna pour this in there. Mm -hmm. Why can't, okay. Just pour. Yummy, 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 yummy. And then, the recipe calls for one cup of the caramel it vodka. It has a hole in the bottom, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, y'all know good and ding dang well. Why would you measure that? We, uh, Because I'm trying to show them what the recipe calls for. It's too much wine. Well, is that the seven, 75 milliliter bottle? Yes. Yeah, that's what it calls for. You can also use a sparkling white wine. Oh, that'd be tasty. If you want to yeah, have a light. little a little sparkle mm -hmm. to it. Can you just okay. it got a hole in it, so it that, really it yeah. It just was just, just pour it in there. <laughs> we'll Let me get you. something to stir. Yes. And then we're just gonna oh that smells so You're good. You're gonna need a couple of those. That caramel smells so good. And then I'm gonna add in the apple as well. Now, another thing you can do, you can tweak it maybe at, you know, rim, rim your glass with a little caramel sauce if you want to get fancy. Um, I didn't do that though. <laughs> you could also maybe add a different apple if you want to, or, um, you know, any other fruit you, you want to change the flavor a little bit, like um, oh, you pear. Have two different vodkas, I'm tripping. <laughs> a little pear. Oh, we need a cup. Yeah, well, you're supposed to have everything looking like you're now all dented up. You know what yeah. it is? Oh my god. It's the ambiance. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't do the ambiance. Jeez. This caramel vodka smells so good. Like, I, I want to be ghetto and just drink right out the bottle. But I won't. I won't do it. I'm going to be a lady. So yeah, we're going to, uh, now you can also let this marinate for a while if you wanted to, to kind of let everything mesh in together. But this would be really good if you're having a fall time party, if you're having a Halloween party and you have some adults coming. So while the kids running around acting crazy, y'all can just be sitting there like, hey girl, what's happening? So very good fall treat. You see that? And it looks so pretty with the apples in there. Um, we're gonna add some other things like that. There we go. Thank you. Let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Don't taste it without me. I'm not, I was trying to put my apple on the side. Okay guys, this is the final product. Caramel apple sangria. JT lined the room with some sugar. We got a little apple garnish. We got some apples on the inside. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. This is going to sneak is good. This is going to sneak up on us tonight. <laughs> this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm telling you. This is a great. I am going to put the recipe down in the description box. I highly suggest you make some caramel apple sangria. Nice and light. Mm hmm. And I think the um, the little the vodka is going to sneak up on us later. <laughs> Definitely. I can, I can feel it knocking on the door soon. And the, the little rim of sugar really adds a nice little sweetness to it. Like, right, it goes right over. Mm. You so jumping. Mm. Then you got, mm, you got a little sweet kickback at the end of it. All right, I'm going to go easy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in the fridge so it can chill. <laughs> yes. But it's delicious. Two Good thumbs choice. up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you tomorrow for Blogtober Day 21. Bye. <laughs>